Will Hurt. National security. <clears throat> Major, I, as you know, I spent nine and a half years as an undercover officer in the CIA. You let off the show um, talking about Iran. Iran is a real threat to the rest of the world. <clears throat> this is something that we can get together as Republicans and Democrats, you know, and, and support and work together on. We need to make sure that our European allies in Germany and France and England are following President Trump's lead and showing that they support the Iranian people. You know, we need to make sure that we're showing the rest of the world what's really happening in Iran because the Iranian government is trying to shut down the internet they're trying to stop people from talking because there is a proxy war going on right now between Iran and our allies Saudi Arabia and in Israel and that can become a hot war and that's gonna be dangerous for everybody we, we've been focusing a lot on North Korea as long as two countries are talking you know the fact that there are direct conversations with North Korea is something that hasn't been highlighted but a proxy war turning into a hot war is something that we have to be worried about in 2018. Do you agree with Senator Graham that the president should give a national address on this and is there something speaking of your past life covertly we should be doing well, at this it, moment? It, look it, it starts with th there's gonna be plenty of time to talk about how this you know uh, what this means for the Iran deal but the first step is to show that we're united in supporting the Iranian people and their ability to peacefully protest. It is written in the Iranian Constitution that people can peacefully protest. We should be supporting that. We should be encouraging our allies to, to ensure that the Iranians are allowing that and that the Iranians crack down. And, and these two deaths are, are because of Iranian security officials. It's because of the Basij. It's because of the IRGC. If we allow this to continue, that's where we should be talking about sanctions because these are human rights abuses and we should be unified and show the Iranian people we stand with them.